Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome. Our next speaker is uh, Hugo Talbo to talk about uh, simulation open framework architecture. Give him a big hand, please. Thank you very much for, uh, for the introduction. So yeah, I'm going to talk about SOFA. So SOFA is for yeah, first, first originally from research. And then you'll see it become a, a bit uh, wider than research. So far, it's so uh, multi-physics uh, uh, engine basically that we are that we are using with emphasis for medical application. We'll see that it can be used for actually any kind of physics simulation, but that's the main purposes. It's open source, so there are like many things here at FOSDEM, and I'll tell you a little bit about the story of SOFA. So it started about 2000, in 2006 uh, in Boston, uh, MIT, where a French researcher had this idea of, of creating a platform, open source platform, for global, globally physics simulation. He came back to France, and then at INRIA, which is a, a research institute uh, for computer science, uh, he came and start, started developing this platform uh, in collaboration with four different INRIA teams. That was, so they worked about five, during five years together, all those, five, the, those four teams, and then more and more companies and startups uh, started looking at SOFA and uh, having interest to that. So now there is a quite big community uh, made from research institutions, universities, and also companies. So what is SOFA? So it's, it's making physics. We'll see that just right now, what, what kind of physics it's doing, but how it is organized. So there, there is a main core open source that anyone can download, use with a LGPL license, uh, so it's quite permissive. And then all around, it's why I wrote modular. Modular because you can build then your own plugins and any kind of, you know, your own module in which you're going to develop new classes, new models, to create your own application. And what is that useful? Because you, know, you can put any kind of, of license you want on your own code. So basically, you can develop a product or make your own research, private or open source, uh, based on SOFA using that, that kind of plugin architecture. It's multi-physics. Uh, that's what we're going to see just right now. And we are always targeting at, at interactive simulations, so pretty fast simulation of physics. Uh, and we, you can see that uh, at our booth uh, in the building, uh, in building K, uh, we have an haptic uh, interface showing a small demo with SOFA. So what, what, what is SOFA? I said it's RGPL. You have this, plug, this plug-in system. So all the, all the, I mean, usual stuff. So build, building with CMake, we are on GitHub as well. So just like we, it has been discussed previously, uh, and and two dependencies which are Qt and Boost. We are cross-platform, so you can use it on any kind of platform you, you want. What it is doing for physics? So for physics, there is. Usually, I mean, uh, from, from the origin, we were really focusing on mechanical simulation. So uh, medical simula me mechanical simulation in medicine, it was mainly, you know, how does an organ behave? Or if you push on the, on the liver or on the brain, how does this organ is going to respond? So it's a bit of buttery. But basically, it was what it was uh, made for at the beginning. And then we started looking at more than just mechanics, but we looked at fluid dynamics and also some kind of other field simulation, which is here electrical field, could be also temperature field, so thermal, uh, thermodynamics. Um, and all those stuff are uh, available then in SOFA to make your own simulation. Uh, I mentioned you know, it's C++ classes, but if you want to build your own simulation, you can use either XML or Python scripts to, uh, scripts to then describe and run your own simulation. So yeah, some kind of battery, that's the kind of example we are doing. What, what, what is the use of all that? We are using usually you know, medical simulation, so physics simulation in medicine for making training simulators or helping at least surgeons you know, during the operation bringing new tools based on simulation. Again, you can, you can join us at, uh, at the building K. I, I, you'll see a lot of different videos and so on. Um, so how does it work to build a simulation? All these, uh, each C++ uh, class build, build what we call the component here. Each one here is a, is a C++ class. And then each component has a role. Of course, you're going to have a solver. You're going to have, if you want a mechanical simulation, you will have a, a, a mechanical law disc describing how does this, uh, this object deforms, a mass, and so on. Basically, all the physics. And this is described as a graph, so a direct acyclic graph, as we said. Each node has 
I mean, each, each component in, in this node will have you know, parameters. If you take the mass, for example, the mass, you need to define the mass density or at least the total mass of, of your object. So that's, that's how it works. And this, of, uh, this uh, scene graph will be described using, the, uh, using XML scripts or Python scripts more recently uh, have been introduced. Um, so one, one thing which is really powerful about SOFA is that it's not only, you know, not only physics, you have also visualization, you have some algorithms for collision detection, but how does that, you know, uh, how does all those different models, you know, you can have one model for the visualization, one model for the physics, one model for the collision detection. So let's, oh, do we see, no, we see nothing, okay. Uh, and we see even less nothing. Uh, does that change here? No, nothing. Okay, so the idea is that uh, if you want to, the, the, uh, I will summarize basically all those different stuff here. Here you see a little bit, that's, that's a lever, a human lever. Uh, so the idea is the, the, the power of this multi-model multi representation, what it is, you, you can have different topology uh, for representing the same organ. One will be here, it's small cubes, which on which is going to be computed the mechanics. The, so the mechanical simulation will be computed on exhydron. And here you can have, for, for example, collision de detection, you, you can use, instead of cubes, to be more realistic, you, maybe you want to use a triangulated surface. But then you have two different objects, one for the collision, one for the mechanics. You can have here for the visualization, you see nothing, so it's really uh, very nice for visualization. But uh, So you, how, the question is then, okay, you can have all those different models, that's cool, but how do you relate them? That's what we call a mapping. We have mapping, making the correspondence between the, me the mechanics, the physics, between the visualization that can be different or the collision. Globally, what you need to, uh, what, is, what, is, uh, what is needed here to understand is just that what it allows to do is to set exactly the power of computation wh where you want. If you want to have a very accurate mechanical simulation and a crappy visualization, it's possible. If you want to, to have the inverse, you know, a, a crappy mechanical, mechanical simulation because you don't want to be accurate, and a very, very nice, uh, with a super nice textures uh, simulation, it's also possible because the two models are completely independent to each other, but then the mechanics is gonna you know, manage, it's the master and the visualization is gonna be the, the slave and then you will have a very nice simulation with a nice visualization, even if the mechanical simulation is very simple behind. So you have, you have some other features in SOFA, just like you know, GPU computing, which is possible. There is a plugin allowing for uh, using, the, using the GPU of your, of your, of your computers. Uh, you can have, uh, and you can couple any kind of physics simulation with haptic device. That's what we have at, at the booth. That's what you can see here at the video. You have a physics simulation. Okay, cool, it's running, uh, it's running in real time. But on top of that, you can directly interact with this simulation. So here, the tools are, uh, I mean, there is an interface between the haptic devices and the simulation, and therefore, the user can directly, you know, use, I mean, use the tool and got exactly the feedback is interacting with a real object. Everything is, is, is virtual, but it's gonna have some haptic feedback. So, you can also couple the virtual with uh, virtual simulation with with some haptic and uh, interface uh, interface devices um, many other stuff so there is you know i said you can create new plugins uh, adding new features to sofa so for example you have something which is dealing with medical images you have something about registration changes of topologies for example if you are cutting an object you you have to update the topology so update what the the geometry basically of your of your objects that's available also in SOFA. <laughs> so now there is a consortium, I mean, I, I, you know, I told you it, it, it started in 2006, there was researchers and so on, now there, is, there, there have been some companies, startups that has been created as well. So we built a consortium so that also single developers, companies, researchers are basically happy what, what is, with what is going on. And we are providing regular releases uh, of SOFA. That's what we are doing. Uh, and we are taking care of you know, promoting SOFA. And basically, for example, if there is any single developer using SOFA, making his own application, we, can, we are also here to promote his or her work around SOFA, to find partnership, and, and, and talk to, to the uh, open source community. 
So yeah, there is a, a website on this website, a forum to ask questions, to start with SOFA. There is also tutorials, videos on SOFA where, where you can see the different kind of application examples uh, that, you can, that, you, that you can achieve with the platform. And uh, uh, so that's the different members that are uh, joining us for the last uh, four, four months. So it's a pretty young uh, consortium, but it's, uh, it's, it's still growing. And here are all the, the stuff that you can you, you should remember that it's uh, on GitHub. So if you want to see and discuss about the code, it's on GitHub, so Sofa Framework. Uh, there is a YouTube channel, Sofa Framework, as well, where you can find all the videos and achievements of researchers and companies. Uh, and and, and uh, so Twitter, of course, but, and, and then the forum where you can ask questions and really get started with Sofa. So, what, 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 just what I can tell, so as it's you know, open source, as many things are in, uh, in FOSDEM, you can basically download so far, get, get, uh, give it a try, make your own experience with it, give us feedback about that, uh, and also create then your own application. We, we, I mean, my job is also to make so that any kind of application created with Sofa get, a, get, a, get a, an end user and get promoted. So do not hesitate to use it. Ask questions on the forum. You can also contact me directly per email. Uh, and do not hesitate to come at our booth. So we are at K, K, uh, K2 and booth uh, number 15, uh, 17, sorry. Uh, 15 is maybe cool as well, I don't know. Uh, and, and yeah, to, there is a small live demo so, and other videos to show what kind of achievement you can do with SOFA. So do not hesitate to join us. Uh, I would be happy to, to talk with you. So thank you very much. Thank you very much, Hugo. Um, we still have a couple of minutes left, so if there are any questions, just raise your hand and uh, I'll get the mic to you. Ah, there I see one. I have a question. Do you use a finite element uh, formulation or any other type, or do you have many? Different types. Yeah, uh, for for the, for the approach that it's chosen, it's mainly a finite element method. There is also some uh, SPH approach, MLS approach uh, that has been implemented in SOFA, uh, but very few on grids. Grid simulation has been very not really considered. You know, you know, that that could be interesting for only thermal uh, thermal simulation, but mainly FEM FEM simulation. So, any other questions? Well, then uh, I su suggest we wrap up. Uh, Hugo, thank you very much. Thank you very much.